Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to beat Nine Men's Morris at the Inn in Assassin's Creed 3. There are four possible methods that I've discovered that all are guaranteed to win. So this first one is Permutation 1, Variation 1 as I'm calling it. So place your piece there, place your next piece here. Uh, for all four of these uh, methods you have to play first. So then place your next piece there, he will always do the same thing. So for Permutation 1, he always tries to make a mill at the top row. So remove that uh, middle piece after you made your mill. And now you need to get him to waste a turn. So rather than block him off, I'm going to place my piece at the bottom left of that particular square. And then he's going to take that piece away. So now you have to place your piece there. And now he's going to block off the top, so that's variation one, as I'm going to call it. And now I'm going to place my piece there. I have two mills set. He's going to always block off that one there. He always places his piece there. He always tries to block off the mill that's vertical. Very strange. So I've taken take away his second to last piece that he just used. Block off his mill because he always tries to make a mill. And he's going to try to block me off on the left hand side. But now I'm going to move that piece because he will refuse to try to block me. Because if he does, I can just make another mill. He, instead, he's just going to make his own mill. But that's fine. We need him to get him to make a mill in order to get him to waste a turn. So by moving that piece, he's going to uh, move his piece back and take away one of my pieces. Now, I can make a mill in two turns. If you can make a mill in two turns after he p takes away one of your pieces, you're going to be in luck. You're going to be uh, set for this. So take away that piece. He's going to block off my mill, but he's going to waste a turn. So now, I can make another mill without him taking away one of my pieces. Right now, he's trying to make a mill. I'm going to make a mill and stop him from making that mill. However, he's going to make the same mill again using that piece on the left of my marker. There we go. So now, move this piece back over to where it was. And he's going to make a mill and take away one of my pieces. But it doesn't matter because... Regardless of what piece he takes, I can always make a mill in two turns. Which is this piece right here, since he took away that piece. So now, go ahead and take away uh, that piece there. And now, he is going to be very delayed in trying to make a mill. So I can just make my mill again, and take away one of his pieces. And now he will only have three pieces left. But now, because of the fact that he has only three pieces left after I take away this one piece, he can move his three pieces anywhere on the board. So now, what you have to do is keep the mill you've already made in place. Never, ever move any of those pieces that are part of the mill. Get him to take away your other pieces, and you've effectively won. Because if you keep that mill preserved, the, the one that's at the bottom... You will be able to make two mills the moment he takes away your other pieces. And I'm <laughs> pretty much the uh, the AI knows this, so that's why he's just going to not make the mill immediately. He's just going to place all of his other pieces around the board. It takes him some time, but eventually he'll take away my uh, other pieces. But yeah, guys, look, I've seen guides for uh, Nine Men's Morris, and none of them have been, have been very helpful because they only ever test for one particular permutation. Whereas with my guide that I'm making, there's only four methods. Four methods instead of one. And because of that, it means that the strategies will work every single time for people who want to try to beat this guy at Nine Men's Morris to, in order to try to get that trophy for beating uh, Fanarona. Nine Men's Morris, and Bulls at the homestead. So this is going to definitely help everyone. Okay, so now he's made the mill. I'm going to place the one of my end pieces uh, over here to make an L, and there's nothing you can do because I have two mills set. So just, uh, you know, make the mill, and take away one of those pieces, and you've won. So that has, that has been uh, permutation one, variation one. And now... For permutation 1, variation 2, where he's going to block off the uh, bottom part this time. 
So now place your piece there. All of these methods have the same origin. You have to place your piece there. Now you have to place this uh, next piece here. And then place your next piece here. You have two mills set. He's going to make the mill at the top because this is permutation one. Okay, take away the middle piece. He's going to replace that piece. Now place your piece at the bottom left. He will always take away that piece, and that allows you to get him to waste a turn. Now place your next piece here, and he's going to block off the bottom part now. There we go. So I can make a mill there. So now I have to make a mill here. So remove his second to last piece every time for all four of these methods. Block off his mill. Every time you uh, take away that second and last piece, he will always try to make a mill. Okay, now he has his mill set, because uh, this is what what in particular happens in Permutation 1 Variation 2. So move that piece upward in order to get him to waste a turn. There we go, he just wasted a turn, and now I can set up a mill without any risk to my pieces. But because of the fact that he has made two mills. I cannot take away any of those pieces that are in the mills, so that's the only piece I can remove. So, repeat the same thing again. Make a mill to bait them out, so that he wastes a turn. There we go. So now he's going to uh, make, make his mill to try to stop me. But all he's doing is uh, screwing himself, because every time he takes away one of my pieces, he wastes a turn. So go ahead and remove the bottom piece. So now he's going to make another mill. But because of the fact that I don't have any immediate mills set up, I have to bait them out uh, in a different fashion. So there we go. That's actually good he did that the, when he made that mill, because now I can make another mill. So uh, go ahead and take away that piece, and that delays him from making any more mills. So go ahead and make the mill again to take away one of his pieces. And now, he will only have three pieces left, and you've effectively won. You've just got to time him out, get him to take away your other two pieces. And then, once he's taken away all uh, all two of your pieces, uh, you can make a mill uh, in an L shape. And therefore, you have two mills set, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you've beaten him. But that's only for permutation uh, 1 so far. I haven't shown you uh, permutation 2 yet, with uh, both variations of permutation 2. So this takes time. I mean, he, he knows he's lost. <laughs> yeah, just, just a look. <laughs> it's always so funny to watch. This is practically what a, a, what a human player would do. Just troll the other person. And there we go, he's made the mill, there goes my piece, and now, I can make an L shape. That, this is also another spot where you can put it, so I can still make two mills. You don't have to put it there, you can, you can just make the L shape in a different spot, but it doesn't matter. And you've beaten him, that is uh, all variations of permutation 1, and now for permutation 2, variation 1. So, once again, same thing, place your piece there, you will always do the same thing. Place your next piece here. And then place your next piece here. But now, because this is permutation 2, he's going to make a mill on the right hand side. So go ahead and uh, take away his middle piece. He's going to replace it. 
So now place your piece at the bottom left in order to get him to waste a turn. Place your next piece here. So for variation 1, he is going to block off the top part. So now place your, uh, your piece there so that you have two mills set. Take away his second to last piece as always. He's going to make a mill now, so block him off. And now he's going to place his piece there in, in order to set up for a mill. So now move this piece up to bait them out. And he should remove that piece. But I can still make a, uh, a mill out of this one. Because of course he couldn't take away that uh, those pieces in that mill because when my pieces are in a mill, he can't take them away. So now once again, because he has two mills set, that's the only piece I can remove. And now, I can make another mill at the bottom of the uh, board. And bait him out. There we go, he's wasted the turn. So move the middle piece to the right. There we go. And now I'm going to take away that piece since he moved the uh, the bottom middle one. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to move the bottom right piece over here so that I can bait them out. And then make the mill again. Very simple this is. But it took a lot of time trying to figure this out. And it doesn't matter what piece you take because he will eventually just make a mill. It's just um, I don't have any uh, immediate mills set up so just follow what I'm about to do. So you need to move uh, the bottom left piece up. Because of the fact that I don't have any immediate mill set, he's not going to make the mill immediately. And once again, you need to move um, the left piece um, up so that I can make so that you can uh, make two mills. So because I have a, a mill set, he's going to waste a turn. But he's only screwing himself by doing this. And there you go. So now, there's no way he can make a mill that quickly. Now that I've actually taken away his pieces. It is now 4v3. Every time you get to 4v3, where you have 4 pieces and he has only 3 pieces, and your mill is set, you've already won. All you gotta do is just time him out. So yeah, after all, after spending so much time on 9 Men's Morris, it's become an absolute joke. I've come to abso absolutely master uh, this particular board game. I have not mastered 6 Men's Morris or 12 Men's Morris, although I can say 12 Men's Morris is the hardest variation of, of the Morris game. It's very difficult, and I, I don't know if I'll ever do it. Because uh, it's so tricky, because it's factoring in diagonals as well. And <laughs> having diagonals in this in this board game, very, very difficult to, to handle when it comes to the AI, even though you have more pieces. So that's the end of uh, Permeation 2, Variation 1. And now, for Permeation 2, Variation 2, the final uh, permutation. Same thing, place your piece there. Place your next piece here. Place your next piece uh, in that corner uh, once he's finished his turn. And once again, because this is permutation 2, he is going to make a mill on the right-hand side. So take away the middle piece. He's going to replace it. Now I go ahead and place the bottom left piece. 
over there, and now get him to waste a turn. And then uh, place your next piece here. Since this is variation 2, he's going to block me off at the bottom. But that's actually good for this one. Because permeation 2, variation 2, is practically uh, permeation 1, uh, permeation, sorry, a permutation uh, 1, variation 1, but of a different orientation. It's literally the, the exact same method, but it's just oriented differently. So yeah, just block off his mill like that. And now move that piece. He will never block it off, because if he does, he'll risk uh, uh, setting me up for a mill. So uh, move that piece upward, and then you're going to want to move uh, this piece to the left, and then take away the piece he's, he currently moved. So now he's going to try to block off your mill, but he's, all he's going to do is just waste a turn. That's the same thing that happened in variation 1 of my permutation 1. Now go ahead and take away that piece. Because that's the piece he was going to use to try to make the mill. And now move the top left down. He's going to make another mill because I have a mill set up. He's going to remove one of my pieces, but once again, it doesn't matter because whatever piece he removes, it will not impact the fact that I can make a mill in two turns. If you can make a mill in two turns, after he removes one of your pieces, you're set. I'm going to reiterate on that again. And he's done for. He can't make a mill fast enough in order to stop me. And... He's down to three pieces. So once again, keep your mill preserved, and just keep your other pieces on the move, so that eventually he removes them. And you will eventually win. So thank you all for watching. This video is definitely going to help a lot of people who are struggling on Nine Men's Morris. It's a significantly better guide because every other guide out there for Nine Men's Morris only ever shows one method, not multiple methods. And that's the biggest flaw with them. And you're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my microphone. Just enjoy the rest of the video, even though it's just going to end in a win, so there's not much to enjoy. Once again, uh, thank you for watching, and you take care now. Good move.